Hello Year 7, welcome to Lesson 6 of the Periodic Table and today we're going to look at Group 0 which is the furthest column on the right of the table the last group we're going to look at in this topic. And before we get started, let's get some retrieval on the go. You will need a pen, a paper, a periodic table um, and a slop of new knowledge print stock if you need, if you can. If not, don't worry, just grab your table, that's absolutely fine. Let's start with retrieval, so slide 1, okay. What can you remember about chromatography? So pause the video now, off you go. So you should have got these bullet points here. Again, if you can't remember doing this, if you forgot to say don't forget you can make a revision card now. It's absolutely fine. So next slide, particles. Pause the video. Off you go. So how to get on? Check your answers now for me. Again, lots of information there. Again, it should be nice and firmly remembered. And the final slide is back to last lesson, which is group seven. So pause the video now. What can you remember from last lesson? Off you go. So, how do you get on? Check your answers. Okay, pause the video if you need to. All the answers are there for you. Okay. So, to, before we get started in today's lesson, let's look at a slot from last time. So, here's the answer to the slot. So, you should have drawn with some fluorine, chlorine, as I've done there for you. Group 7 of halogens, and there's your table filled in. Finally, there's two questions to answer. So, we had the uh, exam questions here. So, again, the answers in red for you. There's question one. And finally, here is question number two. So again, check your answers for me. How did you get on? Hopefully really well. If not, just make sure you go through them now, add in the correct answers, and we can work on them for a reason later on the topic. So today, we're looking at the furthest column right, and they are called the group zero elements. Now, here are the three of them that you drew earlier as topics. So you've got top, you've got, he you've got helium, you've got neon, and argon. Now, you can hopefully see that each of them has one thing in common, and that is that the outside shell, all three of them, is full up. And the reason they're in group zero is they've got zero spaces for electrons. They are completely full. Okay, and we need to know what this, what this means, okay, and therefore, what in terms of science can we get from this? So let's go through this now, the new knowledge here. Only four questions today. <laughs> Um, these are the key things you need to know about group zero. Now, they are group zero, and they are also known as what we call the noble gases. So they are all gases at room temperature. And their property, because we've got to fill out a shell, they're really boring. They don't do anything. They're really unreactive. And we also call them something called monatomic. Now what that means, if we think mon, like you've got a, a, a monocycle or a monobrow, it means one. So they go around as single atoms. So they're on their own. Okay. <laughs> So the question is, why are the noble gases inert or unreactive? It's because the outer shell is full. Outer shell of electrons is full. That means they don't react, they don't need to. What's the point? They're full, they're happy, they're, they're sound. So therefore, they do nothing, they just sit on their own, they are boring and unreactive. <laughs> And a final thing you need to know about is question four. And it's this. Describe and explain the, ch the change in the boiling point of noble gases as you go down the group. So going from up, start at the top with uh, helium all the way down, the boiling point will increase. So bullet point one, the boiling point increases. Down the group. This is because the atoms are bigger, 
meaning meaning bigger forces. And if you've got more force, that means you need more energy to break the forces. So therefore, more energy needed to break force. So there are your four questions you need to know from today's lesson. Okay, I'll go through them again. Group zero are noble gases. They are unreactive and they are monatomic. They are unreactive because they've got a full outer shell. And in question four, their boiling point increases as you go down the group because the atoms are bigger, I mean they've got bigger forces, which therefore means more energy is needed to break the forces. Okay, so that's what you need to know, okay, for uh, group zero. And take a couple minutes now to make sure you've learned them, embed them in your original card if you want to. So the final thing today is just to make sure we have a go at the slop. So if you haven't already done so, you can print you can uh, print it off. Otherwise, I've got here for you the questions. There's five questions there for you to answer. And if you've done that, you've got then an exam question as well to answer, which is on the screen now. Okay, the answers will be discussed next lesson, like we always do. Okay. Next lesson, we're going to be looking at um, formula, understanding that, and the last lesson on this topic. But until then, do some material practice if you need to. Recall test will be on Friday. Complete the slot for me and share the videos with others. So again, keep safe. Hopefully see you soon and well done.